time again. Tune in to Taking It Too Far Podcast. Let's have a laugh with three peas in the pod. Funny stories and bad interviews with three peas in the pod. Good times are right here. Taking It Too Far Podcast. No need to be politically correct today. Let's take it nice and easy. The best friends are here to make your day. It's a taking it too far podcast. Taking it, taking it, waiting, waiting. waiting. What's up? What's up? Taking it too far podcast. I'm Brandon. La la la, Laura. Adam, we're talking about Laura's vagina. Yeah. No, we're not. You are. I'm just <laughs> listening. Yeah, you kind of chimed in. A little bit. I mean, you didn't like describe it. <laughs> but you like chimed in How on the vagina he? talk. He's never I was, seen I was it. You say. guys, you guys remember that show, Waiting? The lady, at the, the lady at the end. He's like, <laughs> we were specifically saying how that was not. Yeah. I repeat, was not it my was not vagina. vagina. But I said round to, exp- to, to uh, explain to it, and she says that's the lady I think of. We're sponsored by Extra today. You want one piece extra, of gum? Extra, extra, Rita. Oh, no, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna put a piece of gum on and on the mic. Don't you worry about me. You'll Professionalism. Never, you'll never know I have it. I look like Joaquin Phoenix on David Perf- Letterman that one. <laughs> Professionalism at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. That's a ten second drop. She's I'm gonna, gonna let him twice. chew it in. Uh, uh, I didn't. Uh. Sh- I didn't hit it again. I I'm not gonna chew thought. it. Don't worry. No, usually, yeah, you can hear in the background. It smells it goes, so good. <laughs> I wish this was a smell podcast, a smell cast. Scratch and sniff. I don't know if I'd want to smell it today. I, yeah, well, no, it's pretty cool it's here cool today. It's cool in here now, but if I don't it's know. It's not 86 degrees. It's 74. That's a whole 12 degree difference, which you wouldn't believe. And I went swimming, difference. so my hair is kind of wet, so it's like a nice cool vibe over here. Feeling good. I went on a bike ride, so I'm good. Yeah, you came in. Yeah, I saw you pulling it on you your bike. You showed up at the same time. That was good time. Life is good. You looked really good. Thanks. Good timing. I was like, hey, look at that guy on his bike. We're getting the show ready faster. It's not taking us very long to get set up. It's just bada bing, bada boom. It Professionalism. Laura. It takes Laura to get a minute to get up here, but <laughs> it takes Laura a minute to do everything. She had a pool party today. T- today, a pool party. Today. I was like, I'm staining the deck. I'm staining the deck. Well, I'm having people over. Well, this is not a good time to stain the deck. Okay, I yelled at like three kids. I felt so bad today. I stained my own son's butt. I felt so bad yelling at those kids. I was like, I don't mean to yell at you, but god damn, I just all the parents understood. Every but all of my friends understood. Everyone understood. It was fine. I yeah, everybody was super good about it. Yeah, it's fine. They all got it. Like I said. Me and him had a miscommunication. Like, I, I, the whole day got fucked up. I was supposed to go shopping with my mother in law at like 10 a.m. in the morning. And that didn't happen. When we made those plans, my girlfriend was over and was like, Well, after you go shopping in the afternoon, I will girlfriend. bring my child oh, to girlfriend. come over. Yeah, I says to her all the time, It's fucking delicious. Anyway, so <laughs> we. Are doing. You have my attention. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody's ears perked I, I up. I do not care about the. She drama. wants to hear about the scissoring. Like full on? No, it's not true. Oh. Scissoring doesn't work anyway. It's Gladys all over her. again. Now I'm disappointed. Scissoring doesn't actually do anything. It makes a farting noise. That's doesn't not it? true. <laughs> so like, does it really? I don't know. I've never when scissored. I've watched porn and I've seen like two girls. It's fucking hot, and I think I could get off. Well, I think I'd be very turned on by it. I don't think you get off. You need. Off. You need. Uh, no, but like it's just dry humping. It's like if you make out with somebody and you're fucking dry humping and you're rubbing. Yeah, your you're rubbing your on, vagina on a log. It's just fucking. It's sexy and you're into each other and it's fucking hot. And you said you didn't like girls. I don't like girls, but I would like to rub Thrupple? my vagina on your fuck. When I suck your dick, do I not rub my vagina on your fucking thigh from time to time? I never noticed. You've never noticed I've that? never Come gotten on. around one of your legs and, like, fucking yeah, oh ridden yeah. it. Okay. okay. So that's me riding your leg. Like you're scissoring my leg? Yeah, that's me scissoring you. If you had a vagina Pressure. wrapped I've around me. Have you been scissored? Well, if that's the definition of scissored, I've, it's, I've probably okay. experienced Every that male has been yeah. scissored. That's if a new thing. If you had a vagina wrapped around, if you, like, fucking shoved a leg in between your lady's pussy, you're, like, pretty much, like, just imagine that. That's what pretty much it is. It's just, like, um, only your leg would have the fucking. Yeah, I get that. That's what I'm saying. You're humping a log. Like, yeah. But the log has feelings, too. The vagina's <laughs> t- talking back. That's the sound you made. 
It doesn't. For everyone who said this show isn't too vulgar, this is not the episode for you. This is going to get good. Who said it was not too vulgar? This is going to be the best one yet. I, I don't know. I, 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 I feel drink. Like, I, I feel like I'm drunk and I'm not even drinking. I don't feel drunk. I like wine. Laura's episode number two. If y'all just give me pink Moscato, I can make you daily episodes. It would be fantastic. <laughs> daily episodes. That's uh, so much editing. I'll have to go on to fans only. <laughs> fans only. Yeah. Only fans. How much I'm such a good girl. Editing I don't even do you know. actually do now? A lot. Do you still have to? No, I mean, not as much as I did. No, I, I'm asking legitimately because uh, I'd like to add about two, wow. two, two hours, three hours maybe. See, you put way more energy into this than I do. I feel bad. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> not always. Not always. I can't even not laugh because she's over there just like... <laughs> Smile from ear to ear, baby. I'm, I'm making sure to look up you as I go over. Way more fucking energy into this than I do. I feel bad. She said that. I got it. Okay, so like you know, I told you about the headache when I come kind of thing. Yeah. He's fucking getting a headache every time he fucking blasts a hot one in my vagina. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. Laura's episode too. Laura's so episode. we were banging it out. Like, one, two, three. Warning. We were banging it out like I don't know. She literally just talked about scissoring your leg. We didn't give a What night was it? Oh, it was some night. It was date night. And I said, like, oh, she's like, oh, I, you know, I was like, I'm just tired. I want to go to bed. She's like, oh, I guess I'm not getting fucked tonight. And I'm like, well, you know. Get to work. I got a headache, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to. You uh, said that? Yes. No, she said that. My husband she? said he had a headache and we didn't want to fuck. She was the one yeah. that said she was not I getting fucked. I wanted to fuck. Tonight. And he said, I've got a headache. And I did I said, it anyways, I guess Adam. I'm not getting fucked tonight. I went down. Well, I hey, you got, you got, what is it, two more days? And then I, it's a new month. I then, fucked her anyway. Then it counts. And, and then like halfway through. You fucked I, me anyway. So depressed about it. Halfway uh, through, my head feels like it's going to explode. But I go through. I, I finished. You're a soldier? I soldiered it in. He came. Get and then off. I was like, I still need to come. And he fucking had to even bust through it again. He was like, I got to calm down and get into it again. Because she I need that. came on my cane. I need your D to make me see. Love you. That's a t-shirt. I need your D to make me see. I need your D to make me see. Uh, see what? <laughs> the fucking in lights, you. man. The fucking lights. I need to see the fucking... All of the lights in here, baby. Extra bright. I want y'all to see this. Who was the this. one that like, looked at Laura's episode? Uh, Jeremy? Jeremy did, yeah. This one's for you, this buddy. For you. <laughs> <laughs> summer, summer, summer time. I'm a... Uh, Probably gonna leave early on this one. I don't think you're contractually obligated, or I don't. I don't oh, the, how are you gonna that, leave early? I just. I, I, I don't think you're growing. contractually a label to. You can't leave early. Yeah, There's you only no have. Tension. You bought Watch two cherry cokes. The sexual tension between you two is palpable. He's just mad because he's gotta go home and jack it. Not bad. Listen. Listen. Jazz. <laughs> I miss you, Jazz. Call out. I want to touch the Do you say her name when you, when you jack? Jazz. Hey, when I you jack feel it, it in my finger. Do you think tips. of her? Always. That's hot. Not my entire life. <laughs> Just <laughs> recently. <laughs> Always. I was since I was three. Hey. <laughs> hey. What? When you jack it, do you think of me? All he the thinks time. Of me. I think That's of why you. he whistles. Well, we I made, don't whistle. Like, when did I say like that? a weird fucking half fucking drunk video one night. And he, like, barely jerked it and came. Hey, that happens. Fuck off. I no, yeah, no, great. it was, like, in the morning time. I think that's time. fantastic. I was, like, looking for jack-off material, and I found that video, and it literally didn't take me but a... Just he a, said, I looked at him in his eyes, and he fucking Yeah, she came. looked up, and then I was like... <laughs> <laughs> You've all, we've all put up performances we're not exactly proud of. No, she wasn't here. It was my own self, so... Oh, I didn't have to put it. It was great. It, it, it was, it was. you know how jacking off is. Sometimes I can get it done quick. Sometimes it's just kind of get it in, yeah. baby. I'm, I'm not there to uh, get it in. And I'm not there to please nobody but me, yeah. so I can get it yeah. done pretty quick. Sometimes you light some candles up, you know. <laughs> Sorry to the family listening. Not really. He's you ever like candles doesn't ever really do that <laughs> I made a I'm joke. I just made a joke the other day about silk pajamas. I'm going to pull a full-on 40-year-old virgin. That That's was what What did you say, babe? I said, you don't do that when I'm not there. No, yeah, we, we, if you listen to our earlier podcast, that's a whole thing. Like, if she's home, don't jack Why off. Why do you sound so depressed about it? 
No, I'm not. I'm Yeah, guys at home, here's my one rule as a wife. Everybody knows. Who works out at two hours a day and is currently <laughs> dieting and trying to lose weight and I'm Plug. really She's plugging herself. Working on that. myself and trying to be the best looking person. Listen, I, I you're saying it like I'm asking my husband to only jerk off when I'm not available for him to wake up and fuck. I'm available <laughs> any Maybe other she time have the door of the shut. day. <laughs> and I'm just asking him to use me as that jerk off. Don't jerk off in his own hand. I'm not even asking to like be privy to it, uh, make me come as well. Definitely Laura's. So do you think it's two. wrong, guys? Shout out. Send an email in. No one sent an email. Send an email. Do you Whoa. think I'm wrong? Who sends email? Because I want Who says him anything about you being a to bitch? Fuck me. This went too far. Of fuck his hand. This went too far. Yeah. Keeping it on brand, baby. <laughs> oh boy. I think we should all take turns. We are drinking. literally only ten minutes into this episode. It's fine. It's uh, we should take turns. Next time you should be drinking and we'll be sitting there. Then it'll be my turn. I can't, I'm not a big drinker anymore. I actually anymore. had one of my friends say that they, yeah. they, they, their husband was like, they're definitely not together. When we were at a soccer game, and I was like, guys, that's just how we talk. Like, we're best friends. We do. Who we says are they're together. not together? Abby's husband thought we weren't together. They made bets because we were talking about if her, if the, if the soccer coach and his wife, or who I thought was his wife, were together. Because I was like, sometimes he says comments where I'm like, I don't know. They're not together? That's not, they're not married? I don't know. Sometimes he makes comments like, oh, I only have my kids sometimes. And, like, then he makes comments of, like, I don't know. There are just certain things where I'm like, I wonder. Or, like, he says, oh, it was my sister. Oh, well, it used to be my sister. And, you know, like, certain yeah, things where no, I'm just like, they're probably not the, together, but she's there all the time. And, I'm and like, someone wow. thought we weren't together? Yeah. So they also thought we weren't together. And I'm like, but we're Wild. just biffs. We're, like, biffs. best friends biffs. forever. We used to yell across the parking lot, like, I fucking love you. You're so cute. Like, we just do things on purpose. Like, we yell at each other like that. That's how we speak. I don't know. And I'm also, I was raised an Italian girl. I'm fucking anxiety ridden. I have depression. I have severe fucking, uh, like, uh, what's it called? When you get jealous, like, where you just, like, I own him. Oh, shit. I don't own possessive. him. Let's say he's married. I'm possessive. Yeah. Well, they're probably not married then. Yeah. I, yeah, but my point is, is, like, I just, you know, people think that we're not together because I'm a fucking oh, psycho. Bitch. I just assumed that they I'm were. I'm psycho because I've been in bad fucking relationships, guys. I'm going to make a bet. And right he's now. dealt with me. And She's going to cry before the end of this kind of podcast. <sighs> Not that drunk. No. She's gonna I'm just up. making a point. She's going to get emotional. No, I'm making a no. point that he's he knows he knew I was psycho when he married me. He knew what psychoness was. My sister puts it the best. I'm crazy, and he knows how to deal with my type of crazy. Every person is crazy. You just got to find the person that's able to deal with yeah, their type the of crazy. Yeah, the D and the B. That's how you can handle crazy. <laughs> I didn't know he wasn't married, man. I'm sorry. You said the D and the B? I think you mean the D and the P. That makes me come up crazy. I'm fucking saying the fix your, shot my fucking life up. Fix your crazy is to put my D in your B. Mm. Excuse me. In my B? You're gonna give me shit about you. Okay, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> they didn't hear that on the mic. <laughs> I, I got I got I gum even. in my lip so that I can have <laughs> the flavor, and I'm unprofessional. That's cool. That's cool, and I'm buddy. I'm over here shitting myself. <laughs> I hope that comes through on camera. You're disgusting. You're fucking gross. I just realized you sharted your ass. I didn't shart. Yeah, you shit on me once. Don't fucking lie. I know. Oh, yeah. There we go. That happened. That's been, that's been brought up every episode. Shut up. Shut, you up. shut up. Shut up. What'd you do this weekend, bro? Shut up. What did I do this weekend? Shut up. Got, got the, pool, the pool going. Got the pool ready. This weekend, what did we do? What did we do? You guys had a date night. I know that. Well, yeah, let's talk about date night. Laura got accosted. We went to a, uh, we met up with a couple friends. Well, we met a, we we met a friend's boyfriend. We went to a brewery, boyfriend. had a cute dinner. It was yeah, nice. Had a good little then we dinner. walked to a little bar that was going to have what we thought was live music. They advertised a piano. Yeah, movie. bummer. But it ended up drag being show. a live drag show, which I do enjoy Which we didn't even get to watch because we are on the wrong in. side. We, there was standing room only over there, not even, like, you could, it wasn't big enough for us to get in. But anyway, so I'm standing at the bar trying to get a drink, and this this girl who walked up, my girlfriend looked at me and goes, oh, like my she gosh, pregnant. she's pregnant, and she's smoking a cigarette. When we were outside, I was vaping. 
She goes, she's pregnant. She's smoking a cigarette. And now I'm not judging her. I'm just saying, like, I hate when people are that big pregnant. Fuck that. Judge her. You can't be smoking with a pregnant pregnant. lady, baby. Okay. So then I'm looking at her, and I'm like, well, maybe she's not pregnant. Maybe she just just is weirdly built. Like, you know, maybe her stomach just comes out instead of wide. Like, I'm wide. I'm not saying anybody needs to have a perfect shape. I'm just saying this is what my friend said. So whatever. Um, so then we, there was a question there. She could have been, or she could have just, but it was like, she had like one of those dresses on that was tied right over the stomach. Like it looked like she, I thought she was pregnant too. And I was like, fuck it. I said, I looked at my girlfriend actually. And I was like, I vaped when I was pregnant. We told everybody there was no nicotine in it, but there was. We told everybody there was no nicotine You've in my vape. have all been lied to. Yeah. Like, I, I my, you know what, though? Every, you know how many people tell me my child was fucking brilliant? And he's a wonderful son. And how sweet and kind he is. What a good-hearted boy he is. I, there I is think... nothing wrong with him. And I vaped. Yes, I vaped. Oh, my God. Ugh. Lord's episode two, for sure. Anyway. This one's an easy name. Yeah, let's not name it yet. We, it's still early. We, we're... He looks so depressed about it, too. He's like, I wish you would just stop talking. No, it's good. I keep growing, babe. Why do you look like you're about to pass the fuck out? I'm tired. It's nice It's nice to, for someone to you take the like show. You hate your life. Because I'm tired? Yeah. I just didn't get a nap skis today. Okay. Well, neither did I. I never get a nap. I know, but you wake up a little later than I do. You get that You get that little bit of extra more sleep. Ooh, than I, yeah, I get that REM time. Go bad. You're right. I do. No, it's not going to go bad. She... I, I, I try. I try to let he her sleep. I'm jealous in. of y'all's marriage. Is all I'm saying, man. There's there's been 15 you know comments today that would have got a frying pan thrown at me. I <laughs> thought about like um when uh, your friend showed up today at the house and he was like, "Hey, it's Laura," and I was like, Subtle. I was like thinking about how he used to always say like. Um, oh, I'm so her. jealous that I'm so jealous. I just want to be married, and then we, we'd say somebody who's just not jealous anymore. Like you know, and yeah. it used to piss me off because I'd be like, "But this is the whole point of fucking marriage. Like, you made vows, like no matter fucking what, for for crazy, for not crazy, for fucking sickness, for health, for fat, for skinny, for fucking Excuse cancer, me. no cancer, for fucking fucking rotted out, no teeth or not. You are gonna love me forever. You're gonna stand by me. You're my partner in this fucking hellish landscape that we call fucking Earth life. I want you to fucking be my partner in it. Will you help me?" And he said yes. And I don't, you know, like, you can't fucking be jealous of that. You can't be jealous of that. You just got to find somebody that's willing to fucking get through it with you. Because we're all going to fucking die. <laughs> oh, my fucking Boom. Boom. Drop the mic. It was, getting, it was just building, building, Drop building. the mic. This is such a beautiful, heartwarming. <laughs> then we're all going to fucking die. Yeah, we're all going to die. <laughs> and we're dead. Scene. Scene. Do you know what I mean? I... None of us are getting I'm, out alive, man. We're I'm, all just fucking here fighting the same fucking shit. I do Hope agree with that. You guys remember the, the movie Scream? does not take over Scream? in Vienna yeah, Scream when you don't mask, have yeah. someone else to is hold on to. Is that going to yeah. be it? Yeah. I agree. However, sometimes it's not your choice. You can have yeah. that You can have that mentality. That but at the end of the day. You that you want somebody? You can have that mentality, is, but if your asked, partner doesn't have you. that mentality, then shit well, that's, changes. That's not a partner, then. That's a you, fucking I, mate. I, I fucking agree, totally. A partner is a different word than a fucking mate. mate. You can mate with someone. You can fucking fuck somebody. You can have a buddy. You can have a friend. But a partner, a life partner who you commit vows to is different. That's yeah. That's pretty deep. That's yeah. Think about that. That's I mean, that's you jerk poetic. Off later on with your fucking baby powder and shit. That was him. I don't jerk They're off with baby. I don't know who jerk jerks off with baby powder. I don't think it's you can. Dragging. I mean, well, it's next to the drying powder. powder. It's very soft. Yeah, but you you, you, you a, need that friction. Got, that that that's like sand. You're creating you sandpaper. Need friction. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. I don't understand. Whatever. Your friction on the clit. I don't know if that's friction. I don't know if it, I would it call it friction. Absolutely, it's not like rubbing it's not like leverage it, but it's no, friction. okay no because you guys are like okay this is friction if you do that on a clit you know that's not doing anything right like that's what not i do with my tongue okay do you know how many uh, times I, <laughs> how many times i say i just want you to fuck me it's not doing what i need you to do <laughs> i'm done I don't think out. I don't get you off now. I'm, like the I'm way out. you <laughs> just stop, stop you, doing uh, all that shit. Just, just you got me off the other night. 
Really? That was yeah. the first time in six really years. Really fucking Ever. good. You came first, too. And then you went back That's for usual. the kill. You went back oh, for yeah. the kill, and I came all over your fucking cum. Ooh, it was good. He didn't warn anybody. <laughs> it's fucking Christ. good. I've had a couple glasses of wine. They know. If you're listening and you're my girlfriend had two and you've bottles been of wine. with me <laughs> Real big earlier glasses. today, then why are you fucking even shocked right now? You drank with me. I bet you're fucking right now. So shut up and love me. They're fucking listening to this show? Yeah. They listen to my voice because they love me that much. That's wild. Hey, man. That could be hot. I don't judge your friends. Don't judge mine. What 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 time what time during sex you're like I need to listen to taking the two. My girlfriend today goes. Uh, my girlfriend saying, today goes. It's hot that that, that could be somebody who sent you those buzzers. I, mean, I knew it was Tasha the whole thing. <laughs> you figure out who sent we you those them. buzzers. I don't give a big old wink. I said you sexy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. Adam, what'd you do this week? Uh, what did I do this week? Um, I got my tattoo worked on. Um, I got some good news that holding off just a little bit on, but I got some good news. Oh my God. Are you having a baby? Shut up. Are you going to have a baby? (laughs) Are you going to have a baby? Stop. Are you going to have a baby? No, no, I'm I'm not having any more babies. Are you going to have a baby? I'm Laura, fixed. We but, talked about it before. You gonna I'm fixed. I'm fixing it. What the actual fuck was that? You better watch out. She's in attack mode. I want a baby so bad in my life. My girlfriend that I just met, Abby, ah, uh, she has a little three week old baby that I got to hold today for like two and a half hours. Not really, but oh. Oh. My ovaries hurt so bad. I want another baby. <sighs> Adam, so you said you had some news. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding off holding on that. On. I'm holding off on that little tidbit for just a just a bit. <laughs> and then you just worked. What did you do in the weekend? The kids had baseball. Uh, no, uh, baseball and softball is done except for my oldest and my son. Both made all stars, so we're kind of waiting next week that starts up. I'm sorry, your oldest. Uh, yeah, she made. Uh, I thought I didn't only have the two. I have, stepdaughter. I have two, but my stepdaughter. Oh, so she good. she made the all star team. So I'm so happy that I you know what that's so good that you have he's laughing at me. I'm You're sure just I, so funny. I love you so much. You're cutie. But uh what else? cutie bye. Went to my buddy's birthday. Cool. How old was he? Thirty eight. Just pulling out the soundboard. I don't know what else we did though. I didn't I did something else. It was fun. I don't remember what the fuck it was. You, not you. <laughs> Rode the bike yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's about it's it. been nice weather. The rain's kind of come and gone, and yeah, we had tornadoes. I watched yeah. that. Yeah, everybody else seemed to know about that, but me. Like I had no idea what everybody's talking about. And then today at my pool, everybody was talking about it, and I was like, "Hey guys, what do you mean there was a tornado the other day? Like what's going on?" I was like, "Shut up!" I'm like, what? "What? No, he didn't really do that." But usually, that's the life I live, where he just tells everybody to be quiet. One time, I got like staples in my Who? stomach, and he told me they were just going to melt away. Who said "shut up"? Are you talking about me? I, yeah, I said no. He didn't really say that, but Your that's usually think how I'm you an live angry your guy. life. No, like hiding it from me. Like there was not a tornado. Shut up. Oh, that makes sense. If she gets nervous around that shit. Yeah, she had a tornado story. That one, like the nine that touched down or whatever, a few years ago. Mm-hmm. She had incredible. never been in tornado before, and I was is that gone. the one that took Starbucks out or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We watched me and my dad. So that was like three days worth of storms, wasn't it? I mean, there was multiple tornadoes, I was but I don't know. I don't remember how many actually touched down, but it was like it was like nine. It was. I, one I was on day. a. It was one full fucking day of just like yeah, maybe it was tornadoes because I was at work. I went to work in the morning, and it was just, like, rainy or whatever. But I was big pregnant. Like, my belly was big. I don't remember how far along it was. Well, it must have been October or something. I think it was October. That was the year before. And I was due in January. So, like, I was big, and he just went away that morning for work in another state. And I had gone to work that morning, and then I was checking the patient in, and then all of a sudden, they were like, are you sure we should be doing this? It seems like they're clearing everybody out. And I was like, what? I'm looking around, I'm like, look, I'm really big pregnant. If something's happening, I would know. Like, somebody would come and tell me. And she's like, okay. And she sat down, and somebody was like, get to the back. And I was like, oh, get to your right. Go, go. And I'm, like, trying to get her to the back. And we're all huddled in, like, this eye room where we're, like, ducked down behind the chair. 
I'm with my sister-in-law, and we're all taking pictures, like, super scared, tornado, you know, like, putting right. it on Snapchat or whatever. I'm like, okay, then we, then it goes past, and they're like, you're free to leave, go home if you're leaving near enough, like, and I live right down the road, but as I'm leaving, I see that telephone poles are down, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm freaking out, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I get to my house, there's a tree down on my house, I'm like, okay, I go inside, my dog jumps up on me. My two cats are like meowing like crazy. I'm trying to call him, but all the phones are out. Oh, yeah. I can't call anybody. Like, the, my phone, I have a cell phone, and all the cell phones are using all the cell phone towers. And right. I'm like, I it's cannot crazy. get through. We were, I was on a pole. During I, that tornado? I watched the storm. There was no lightning, so, you know. This today or? Uh, no, the, this was that, that tornado. That tornado, okay. I watched it come through, and the stuff on the phone wasn't working, so I called the supervisor, and he said, what the? I mean, my, he's retired, sorry. He said, what the fuck are you doing, man? There's a tornado. Like, Starbucks just fell down. Get Starbucks is gone. You need to be gone. Yeah. Two chicks. They, it was so a, what happened? Did you just get down? Yeah, I went to the house. I, I, I told the ladies that I was working on their house, uh... I guess there's a tornado. And they started freaking. We don't have a basement. I was like, it's fine. Just, you know, get in a tub or a closet, you know. Nice. And they said, get comfortable, buddy. I said, only if you get in here with us. <sighs> I've seen movies. That they started. said that? <laughs> and, uh, That's that, rape. That didn't happen. But it was just one of those, uh, well, I'm not getting in the tub with you, but I'll, I'll, I'll stay here till the storm's done. They wanted you to keep them, keep them nice and warm. Maybe. Naked. I missed. Did Naked. I miss an opportunity there? I, I miss opportunities a lot. From There's my probably, but yeah. I mean, I, I think about and by a lot years once. of direct TV, and I think about the times that I probably missed opportunities, but just completely just ignored it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, not, I'm not there to do that. I'm just there to put the TV up. You know, I don't know. You probably be, probably yep. can't be half naked. I wouldn't know. I was doing piece work, baby. I need to get in and out. Yeah, your 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 uh, your vagina ain't Laura, so. Ooh, that was slick. I like how you did that. You like that? That was smooth. You can do a really nice vagina. Anyway. Are you comfortable, bud? A little bit. You I might fall asleep. You quiet down so you can go to sleep? Yeah, you guys, you know, you know what? Let's take a little I break. I think you put your feet down so that you don't fall asleep. It's super comfy, though. It helps me not rock. <laughs> rock my baby. Get to work. Stop with the sounds. I got a, a, a trivia game. You want to play that now or you want to wait? Let's I don't do know. It. What else we got? Yeah, sure. Fuck you want to do it? Let's do S- it. Scream. Fuck your life. Scream. I haven't seen Scream in a while. Scream. No, that's a bad Dun, dun. What the What's fuck? your sound like? Dun, dun, dun. I don't want that. I'm, I, dun, dun, dun. What the hell is going on? <laughs> So many I things. saw you had a boogie on your finger. It wasn't. It was. It was like a sticky thing. Yeah, right. He picked his nose and tried to give it to me. I saw it. Don't put that past me. I've. I used to pick my nose and eat it until Corona. Oh God. Brandon that's... used to shit on me. <laughs> Never gonna give that up. I don't blame her. I'd still be mad too. Never gonna let you go. Where'd my pen go? Up your ass. Oh, my gosh. What do you tell our son? Up your butt and around the corner. I find it. And he'll go, Mommy, it was not around the corner. Like, I know. Well, he probably came up here and picked it up. Why is there a pen on the ground? It's just kidding. It's right here. I have some disappointing news for our fans and listeners after the game. Oh, you don't have to tell them. It's okay. They they didn't. They didn't. uh, They didn't pass the It didn't. It didn't hit 10. Oh, sorry. I just let it die off. Yeah, I'm so sorry. No, I want to cuss a little bit. That they didn't hit it? Yeah. Guys! You're fucking assholes! Scream. Scream. Do you know know about the scream, Laura? Do you like scary movies? It's been a a while. Do you like scary movies? I'm trying to go through all their names real quick. I do. Uh, do you do you remember their names? I don't know if that's any questions. Fourteen questions about the I movie. I can only think of Gwyneth Paltrow, and that's not the girl that was in it. I'm thinking of the other blonde. Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. No. Courtney Cox. No, the there's one no blonde in it. Oh, uh, Drew, Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Drew Barrymore. I'll read you the beginning of the quiz. 
Okay. Oakley Doakley. And then we'll get right into it. Gonna fucking lose, guys. Wes Craven's Scream redefined the horror genre when it was released in 1996 with its self-awareness, sarcasm, and thrilling twists. In the decade since, several movies have followed in its path. The Cabin in the Woods, Happy Death Day. I love Happy Death Day. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Happy Death Day 2. That's good. And more. There's nothing quite like the original, though. If you still stand... Sydney Prescott and have Billy Loomis monologue pretty much memorized, then test your scream knowledge with this trivia quiz. Oh my god. Oh, no. I thought this was a question. Dear God, get on with it. Uh, hopefully <laughs> you have what it takes <sighs> to be the final girl. I'm pretty sure I said I was gonna talk about it. I, I heard it, okay. but she was probably All right. All right. Are we ready? Laura? Dad said we could smoke up here. This is... <laughs> Cigarettes. This Babe. is the first question. What is He's Casey Becker's cooking in the opening scene? Popcorn. Popcorn is correct. Casey Becker's. What kind of popcorn? It was a jiffy popcorn, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. She's seen the look on her face. She's about to Sydney Prescott me, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Question number two. Who was the first person arrested on suspicion of being Ghostface? Wasn't it uh, Sydney's dad? No, that, that was Neil Prescott. Incorrect. Shit. Wasn't it? Okay. I don't know. Billy Loomis. I was, it had to be Billy. I don't though. know who that is. That's the boyfriend. Oh, okay. That's right. The one that's like, can Sydney I get Prescott's PG boyfriend, 15? Billy, is the police's first suspect. Okay, question number three. What does Ghostface ask its victim? Oh, that was Laura. She did light up first. What's your favorite scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? Is that how he talks? Yes. Okay. It's a little Gladys. I... I... Gail Weathers. Do you guys remember Gail yes! Weathers? Yes. Courtney Cox is the reporter for what news organization? <laughs> I'll give you multiple choice. Yep. Okay. Okay. Woodsboro Tonight, Top Story, Action News, or WBTV? Action News. Action News is incorrect. WBTV. Ooh, incorrect. It's Top Story. Oh, I thought it was Top Story Action News. Gail is a reporter I, oh. for Top Story. Now, question number five. What movie is playing on the TV at Stu's house party? Oh. Laura. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is incorrect. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street is incorrect. No, I have no fucking clue. Laura. Halloween. It is Halloween, but you do not get the point. Why? Because you got it wrong the first time. But I knew it as soon as he said the other one. Candyman. <laughs> Everyone is gathered around watching Halloween. All right. <laughs> Question number six. When Ghostface victim is not stabbed, which Ghostface victim is not stabbed by the killer? Shit, I don't remember her fucking Laura? name. The blonde girl that goes through the fucking doggy door. Yeah, but she's not blonde. She's redheaded, isn't she? Uh, no, she's blonde. She's absolutely fucking blonde. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't remember her What'd name. What'd you say her hair was? It's red, isn't it? And She's blonde. You don't it's remember her Rose McGowan, no, no. wasn't it? It is Rose McGowan. But I don't remember her character. It's not. It's like strawberry blonde, the picture. That's pretty fucking red to me, ass. I have to say it's a mix of both. I, would I think you're full <laughs> of shit. That's blonde. That's strawberry blonde. Strawberry, blonde. strawberry blonde. It That's was, it was her. Blonde. Her name was Tatum Riley. Okay. She goes through the fucking doggy door. Yes. Yeah, Tatum is crushed by a garage door being up the garage door. Doggy door is a scary movie. She's in the doggy door. In the fucking... I wasn't gonna say oh, that. in the garage door. That's how it goes. She tries oh, yeah. to Oh, yeah. She tries to go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're I'm right. You're not wrong. You're not You're wrong. right. Give me the fucking point. I'm losing anyway. No, yeah, it's we're... tied. One to one. All right. And we're sorry. seven we questions in. Today. What's up? I said? Hi. Question seven. Randy Meeks... Lit Randy Meeks is uh, J Jamie... Fox, not Jamie Fox. The okay. Jamie. Uh, yeah, Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Kennedy. Randy Meeks lists rules characters must abide by to survive a horror movie. What is rule number one? Laura. Black eye dies first. Virgin dies first. I'm sorry. The virgin dies first. No sex. No, that's that's not it. What is it? No sex. 
Yeah, correct. You can never have sex. The virgin doesn't die. Fuck, I got it. According to Randy, rule number one is can never have sex because sex equals death. Yeah, the virgin never dies. Because you're kind of right. Kind of right. Episode number eight. Episode. Question number eight. She's exactly opposite wrong. Yeah, I was, abso- I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> virgin dies no, first. I'm just trying no, to be it's, nice, it's... <laughs> guys. Come on. What character is the first to utter the title of the movie in the movie? Uh, what's his... Uh, it's Matthew Lillard. Uh, uh, what the fuck was his name? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it was that man. Yeah, Matthew Lillard guy. I don't remember his character, though. Stu, Billy, Sidney, or Tatum? Stu. Is it Stu? Stu's correct. Thank you. You're right, though, with the... Uh, I'm it, feeling woozy, man. I'm feeling a little woozy, Billy. <laughs> He's such a good actor. He's such a good... Wasn't he one of the killers, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah I, I hope like, that's one of the answers you just gave That's him right one. there. Yeah. yeah. He's a good gag. He's a good actor. Without a paddle gun. Who kills Stu? Adam. Uh, Courtney Cox's character, Gail Weathers. Doesn't she push the TV over on him? Gail is incorrect. Oh, shit. Sydney. It's Sydney. It is Fuck. Sydney. Laura with the point. It's been a minute. Good job. Thank Congratulations. You. Though Thank you. Billy severely injures Stu. That's when he says, I'm Sydney, feeling woozy, Who kills man. Stu with by TV. smashing a TV I know how it happened. Head. I just remember who it was. Such a good movie, guys. It was a good I'm going to have to watch this one. Question after. number 10. What do Billy and Stu use for their fake blood? Adam. Corn syrup. Just like in Carrie. Corn syrup is right. Just like in Carrie. Dun, 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 dun. It was fun. <laughs> Laura, you can come back here, babe. Question ah. number 11. What actress does Sydney predict would play her in a movie version of her life? Oh. Shit. I remember the scene. I just don't. Liv Tyler. No, that's the one that actually played it. I'll give you. I was. Just, I was just about to give you multiple choice. So I'll all give right, you we'll, we'll scratch that. We'll scratch that. Let me do all four before you answer, please. Yeah, well, you know that's not gonna happen. If you know, just hold on to it. All right. No, I mean uh, Meg Ryan, Tori Spelling, Jennifer Love, Huge Tits, or Drew Barrymore. Adam. Tori Spelling. It is Tori Spelling. Who are you gonna guess, Laura? Jennifer Love Huge Tits. Uh-huh. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Love Huge Tits. Is she crying? I think in the actual like, the Scream movie, like, they said something about, like, yeah, we're none of us play anybody that's actually our age. Yeah. And we get Jennifer bunch Love of, Huge Tits. Bunch of underrated actor or whatever playing teenagers. That's a good movie, too, Scream. Or Scary movie. Scary movie was awesome. Question number 12. Who is the only character to correctly identify Billy and Stu as the ca- as the killers? Laura. The cop. Ooh, is his name... It's Dewey, isn't we it? We were just on a, oh, that was uh, on we were just on a date. You're going to help yeah. her out? That, that's awesome how you just... Randy? Randy! Right, yeah. That's cool. I'm not going to play like this matters, but that was... That it was... doesn't matter. You're a winner <laughs> no matter what. That Adam. was awful helpful. That's all I'm saying. It's question 13, <laughs> and it's 5 to 3. This is some listen, Mickey Mouse bullshit! Listen, it's question 13, and it's 5 to 3. I had to put I had to put some skirt, some skirt, skirt in it. What other thriller did <laughs> Nev Campbell and Skeet Ulrich appear in? <coughs> Multiple uh, choice. Wild Things, Urban Legend, The Craft, or The Abino Alligator. Laura. The Craft. I was saying no shoes in the craft. The craft is correct. She can catch up with this last question. It could be a a, a tie that I have to look at a stupid fucking tiebreaker. Question 14! Here we go. Are we ready? What was the original title for Scream? Oh, was it Scary Movie, The Call, The Woodsboro Murders, or Stab? The Call. Scary Movie. Scary Movie is correct. <gasps> it was really supposed to be called Scary Movie? And then they made a movie called Scary Movie? And they made eight of them after? The first one of those was... Adam takes the win. There, guys. fucking fantastic. Way to go, Adam. It's Brittany, bitch. 
Everybody think Adam on the street. I just want everyone to know, job, just like Adam. Hulkamania back okay. in the 80s, cheaters never win. It's Britney, bitch. Yeah, that guy's getting in trouble right now. It's a good game. Good what are game. we doing? We're just hanging out. What if I make you a card that tells you what all those are. I know what they are. I was just playing your good songs to say you won. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, you won. All right. That's crazy that I didn't know that that the scary movie thing. You remember when that movie came out? No. I was. I remember watching that. Nine. I remember watching that. Art Deco. Down at my neighbor's house. We all gathered in their living room. And it's just one of those movies that were. Yeah. Untaped then. So it was after theater. Oh, yeah. So I was like 97, 98. Oh, ish. Yeah. Laura, do you remember the first time you saw Scream? I don't remember the first time I saw it. I think I saw it here for the first time. 96, so we would have moved here in 99. I had to have been here. There's certain movies that... Probably jacked off to it. <laughs> Just kidding. It didn't jack take, off the it scream? Did, it didn't take much back in the day. No. I remember jacking off to the Britney Spears Hit Me One More Time video. And that was when I lived in Michigan, so I was young. Gross. Glad you uh, brought that up. You both looked at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> Laura can talk about man. her sweaty vagina, and I bring up one time jacking off when I was 10, and you guys make <laughs> all the big deal about it. I didn't say a Wasn't fucking word. Wasn't even shooting anything out yet. I didn't say a word. Remember that when you weren't shooting, we were shooting blanks? <laughs> I don't, I guess there's still something there. I just didn't know there were blanks until I was older. No, my, I remember jacking off with nothing coming out. Really? Yeah. Let's talk about that. I remember peeing when I was young, I guess. I don't fucking... No, I, I rubbed my dick on the sheets. <laughs> Back and forth. That's some friction, baby. Oh, my God. Way to bring it back. <laughs> Give me that little Cheeto. <laughs> a little Frito-Lay, baby. You know what I'm saying? Give me that chili oh, cheese dog. Shit. Gross. All right. That well, it was a good show, guys. <laughs> we still got 43 minutes in. Yeah, we can't. Our, our devoted. You can't quit now. You got to keep going. Yeah. What do you got for us, Laura? Oh, gosh. Well, we never told about how that girl hit on me. So I was at the bar. She we did asked it? if I was alone. I thought we started to, but it diverged. And we diverted. All right. Yeah, yeah. So the pregnant girl tried to hit on you. She was pregnant. We thought she was pregnant, and it, then she came out to the bar when I was getting a drink. She goes, "Are you alone?" And I said, "No, I'm actually with this group of people sitting behind me." She was like, oh, "Okay," and then she went on to order her drink, and she said, "I see this version," and the guy served her, which I was shocked. <laughs> and then there you I go. Said, I need a Miller Lite with a couple of limes and a water, please. And he was like, "Okay." Guess who got the water? You. My bitch ass. Yeah. I drive home from Lafayette, which sucks nowadays. So it was bad. So I'm glad yeah. you did. I don't drink a drug. That's no, it's stupid. Yeah, I had I had a beer at dinner and a beer when we got to the uh, bar, and then water. And did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was fine. There at the end, I was kind of over it. I was. I wish we would have got to see the drag show. I was bummed about that. We should have moved over there. But when I was in Arkansas, they it, had, you can't foresee that they had drag queens or whatever walking yeah. around promoting their show. Yeah. There's a big one, dude. She was like six five, big lady, and no no bulge, fuck that shit like a <laughs> fucking champ. It was cool. I was like, how did she get it in there? Like, is it a she? See, that's what I was wondering. Like, it's a drag our queen. drag queen she's. Because I, I get I get the transvestite thing, but our I mean I get. This I think there's a whole section of just cross dressers. Yeah, that's what there are. You can't the, you can't take that. That's been around for a minute. Yeah, like the so uh, this party whole trend, boys or whatever they're called back in the New York. What, what were they called? The, I don't know. I never actually. I asked this I don't guy, have a, like a great knowledge of drag show. This guy told me that he would, he's all man, but just like to feel pretty once in a while. Yeah, and some of them aren't even gay, man. Some of them don't even like dick. They just like to dress up like ladies, and then they go home and fuck their wives. Some people are just entertainers in general. I mean, and Tyler they, Perry's not gay. Yeah, you're right. So... So, so he could just say, well, I don't know. I've never met the dude. He's a billionaire. Do you know that? He built a whole town in Atlanta for his movies. He's a billionaire. 
Okay. Off those stupid fucking movies. I can't stand like I, I laugh. I can't stand those. I movies. laugh cuz it's so fucking stupid, but it I disgusting. can't sit and watch it. Not disgusting. I don't I just it's What's not my humor. About? It's not. I I was a wrong I take back these. See, it's not my thing. I don't want to sit and watch the movies, but when you watch it it's it's hilarious. We've been watching the show on Netflix called Politician. Yeah. Or, yeah. And uh you would think this kid's gay as hell, man, and he's just not just, you know they're just all very fluid yeah it, it's about a younger generation kind of thing you know everybody's very fluid just like they just sex and fucking and killing everybody and you know everybody's the same baby i'll kill you or have sex with you hmm. that's how we run this game yeah i haven't seen that one it's 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 it's, it's, it's uh solid c oh you're selling it but i might go home and watch it we watched the new episode of rick and morty don't do cartoons. Oh, much. Rick and Morty, you I must. <sighs> Sir, you must. I can't do it, man. I tried. I'll tell you what. When we, I when tried we, when for we, someone who's very special to me. <laughs> when we, uh, I just can't do it. When we sit down with our little special surprise. Yes. That we talked Lick about. your titties. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. With my little closet surprise. Oh, yes. Rick and Morty I'll would show be. you a closet surprise. <laughs> is Glad is here? Almost. Jeez. What is a closet surprise? I don't know. I, I know what you're talking about now. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, but I want to know what a closet surprise is. I have no idea. Like you pop out with your dick out, Mr. Nimbus! <laughs> I'm Mr. Nimbus! He controls the police, Summer. The side of my head is so fucking itchy, and it feels so good when I scratch Oh, my God, sis. Here comes. She's on her way down, guys. Yep, it's we better get Gladys in here. Say, if we're gonna do Gladys, now's the time. Go get me Gladys, Gladys, baby. You hear about this whole uh, Britney Spears stuff? I've heard bits and pieces, and I've given it the proper amount of attention. <laughs> to me, sorry, I don't keep up with this shit. You didn't bring me on for current events. You brought me on. No, I didn't. I, I am, I'm hungry, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you right now. It's starting to get hot up here. I'm hungry. What are you doing for dinner? Uh, I din, din. Honestly, I don't have the kids tonight, so I'll probably just ride. Hopefully, I'll catch ride a Ride nice, at Chipotle. Hopefully, I'll yeah, catch me a nice June dinner. bug today. What? We don't have the kids tonight either. Yeah, we do. Jesus. Come. Huh? Not for dinner. Not for dinner. Here comes Gladys, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I got some good old stories for her. Oh, boy. Good I am very story. curious to see how this is going to go. Oh, but it just is about as well as anything you would expect. It's been a good episode. It's been good. You know, it's taking Gladys a long Gladys time to get up the stairs. Gladys a minute to get off the... Uh, Apparently, Gladys had a few glasses of wine, too. I'm sure she did. Gladys always has a few glasses of wine. Gladys is all about that wine, sister. Are you looking at the iPad as a mirror? I promise it's not going to help, darling. Yeah, just get in here. You don't even worry about it. She's just trying to plant herself Gladys. before she comes and sits down. Wow. The transformation is amazing. It's like watching Wolfman, but reversed. Re wow. Wolfman. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Gladys? <laughs> See, it's times like this that YouTube is the better time to watch this. Oh, for sure, man. You, you're seeing this on YouTube. Now's the time. Gladys, what's up? Shashi fucking man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. talking about food and shit, and, uh... You hungries? Yeah, and y your wife told me your kid ain't here, so let's go somewhere nice. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Open up your pockets, you squeaky motherfucker. We just went, I just took her on a date. She can't, she's gotta be happy with that. She is happy, but she wants more food. Yeah, well... Clams! There's Hello Fresh at home. Hi, Gladys. How are you today? How was that, your week? Better now than I'm talking to you. Oh, boy. It's going to be a good episode. How are you doing, stud? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Good. I already asked that, didn't good. I? Good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's get on to our first story. Khloe Kardashian shares rare photo with her brother Rob and Kylie and calls them her soulmates after the split with Tristan Thompson. Oh, that's sweet. I do believe that is true. I mean. Her, she's soulmates with her sisters? They Which one's Chloe? Each other. Chloe's the fat one. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's not fat anymore, but. You, I got, you, you totally knew which one I was talking about. I thought she was a cute one. I, I don't know which one they had. I've never seen the show. I get what you're saying, but you, you, you knew which one I was talking about when I said I, the fat I, one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I knew which one you're talking okay. about. I think you're a raw piece of shit, Brandon. Yep. I've not heard that in my life. So why'd she split up with uh, Tristan? What do you know, well, guys? How the fuck am I supposed to know? This is what you're supposed oh to do. Oh, my gosh. Listen. You're supposed to know everything. That's why we called you. She got really good looking, and then he said, no, thank you. I want somebody I could trash. Oh, wrong. He keeps cheating on her. See, that's what he said. I want somebody I could trash talk. That's what it is, and I think he's just a big pile of shit. There you go. All right, well, moving on. Uh, did you guys hear about the British influencer that says he had 18 surgeries to look Korean and become a BTS singer? Jesus, please tell me this is false. This is not false. A British, in, a British, a British, a British influencer. Next story, please. Really? The fuck is he, wrong with you, you a, motherfucking idiot? A, I get surgeries to make me look half fucking normal. And he gets surgery. So he says he got week. 18 surgeries. Talk about uh, uh, appropriation, right? He keeps saying, they, the article keeps saying they and them, and I keep, I'm keep i confused, but then I forget that's a pronoun now. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't do it. I'm sorry. He identifies as, no, who identifies as non-binary, so the whole time they're saying, London changed their name to Jemine and says some of their... 8C, uh, like, there. Like, it's one person. No. I don't get it. Because it's both I'm, a boy I'm sorry. and a girl. Okay. Is that what that means? I'm okay. <sighs> I can't do it. I can't deal with this stupid shit. I'm okay with gay and shit, but come on. I am too. And trans. Like, I'm okay with trans. I'm okay with trans, but you don't... You can't be non-binary. You, you can't walk in. At, if you went and had a sex change and decided you're now... If you're non-binary, what bathroom do you go to? I, I'll piss in the kitchen sink. Fuck that. Are you non-binary? No, I'm a dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm a poor if you're excuse for a dude, but I'm a dude. You go to whichever one. Speaking Although, of gay. here lately, I've been non-binary because I got to pee and people in the fucking bathroom need to understand. Get the get in, get your shit done, get the fuck out. Yeah, people take a long time in the bathroom. It's ridiculous. All right, Gladys, did you hear that Queen Latifah officially comes out as gay? I thought that happened a few years ago. Mm, it's in my stories. Five hours ago. Wasn't she always gay? Yeah, that came out before. I mean, everybody knew, but I don't think she officially Queen has ever come team. out. Uh, that, that, yeah, that, that's not new. Queen. I heard that. No, that's Your new. Your name is fucking Queen. Why are you worried? Yeah, Queen already. Just be you, honey, baby. She's on Do you know any of these people? I thought that's the best part of all this. Yeah, you're supposed you... to know these people. You're supposed to have the inside scoop. I told you. Just be you. I told her. So she you, can hear me talking right now. Okay. She can? Yeah. She listens? As She's in talk. a new show, right? She's doing the equalizer thing? Who? Right? Queen Latifah? Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, my head is so itchy. I haven't watched the show, but... Oh, we've got one more my story. My Jojo does not come over and wash my head anymore. And it's really... I think he's getting I'll too wash big for head. his britches. Would you? Yeah, baby. All right, we got two deaths. Uh, the first death is Cops, co Cops creator John Lanely dies of a heart attack during an off-road race in Mexico. And then the former Skid Row singer Johnny Solinger dies at 55. The Skid man Row, that I thought created that was Cops was uh, not an illegal race. Oh, Sebastian. Former. He was not the original. Really? Mm -hmm. See, learned something over there. Most of those bands. You know who would know that? Jeremy. Woody? Shout out Jeremy. Shout, Shout out, out Jeremy. So the man who created cops. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. I hear that was because of a family video Gladys had. Did that, he that get started the whole shop. Probably. Off road race. No, it was a. Uh, 
like a sanction it race? It was like a sanction he, race, yep. So it was just a bad accident. That sucks. Yeah, he just got too excited. Did you hear, the, did you hear about the, the uh, Batman eating Catwoman's vagina thing? I guess Look. that's like in the movie, the Justice League cut out, and they had like cut it. Because they're like, Batman doesn't eat Catwoman's vagina. I thought the Justice League, he was going after Wonder Woman. Yeah, see, I don't know. I guess it wasn't. In, I don't know. I'm very it can't confused. can't be the Justice League. It's a confusing she story. Even, she wasn't even in Justice League. No. You're right. I'm intrigued. I don't think. No, this, I That's know. the story you're intrigued about? I sat all 17 and a half fucking hours of that director's cut one. I liked it. I did, I too. I just man eat a vagina. You would? She'd yes. have the horns to hold on to. Would you want him to have the mask on? Yes. So she can steer him around. Mm-hmm. Hey, girl. Get you some. All right. Glad to see you later. Your 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 head hurts. It's just itchy. I know. It's I mean, like that's all. Machine. That's you know. I hang out in the sand too much. We talked about Khloe Kardashian. We talked about some dead. Oh fuck yourself. <laughs> I really wish you wouldn't do that. That's how you break shit. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things because Laura slash Gladys just throws shit around like it's fucking whatever. It's all good now. <laughs> Baby in the corner. Oh, here it comes. And we're here. And we're off. What do you got planned for the good, beautiful week for the 4th of July? Uh, let's see. I'm going to have the kiddos. So You coming to my get to get tour? I don't know. Maybe. You're the third oh, person. Fuck off. I got. What do you want me to say? I got. No, I haven't too many people is, coming is that, anyway. So. Are you sending my invite? What a frick. No. I'm going to uh, make some pulled pork and turkey. Is that going to be on Sunday? Yes, sir. I don't know. Laura, why do you look so angry? <laughs> oh, you know what? I wasn't the one that knocked the microphone over, so don't get all mad at me. I won't touch it from now on. How can you not touch it? Just like this. I'll just sit in my corner. Sit in your corner? <laughs> How much dead air was that? That was a lot. That, People that, are going to think we they're going to turn it off right there. They're going to be like, it must be, it must be empty. It must be the end of the show. No uniballer for Laura's me? Laura's not saying anything. Maybe you should talk, asswipe. Oh. I need you to leave your attitude. I need you to leave your attitude. At the door? At your fucking ass. It's big enough to suck up everything because you take a dick in it every day. This this, this got, got personal. Me. Yeah, this got I like it. Harsh. Fire back. Get her. Come on. You I'll take f- a dick in your ass every day. I wish. <laughs> well, that's on YouTube. That's an insult on YouTube, bud. She got you. You don't wish. You would you couldn't even handle the head. You the wouldn't other even day. try. You couldn't even handle the head <laughs> in the, like, in the oh, hole. I'm too scared. I put it in there and you were like, uh no. I guess I'll be in trouble later, won't I, Daddy? Uh, yeah. Uh, Chipapi Menino. Uh, <laughs> and we're back. That was smooth. I like how you did that. Chipapi. Chipapi it was smooth. What did I do? You brought her back. Look, she's smiling again. I hate yeah, you. it's usually how it goes. She gets she thinks she's mad at me and then she ends up laughing about something. Because you're a stupid motherfucker. See? I don't think you're stupid. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah. you got you got plans. You got other people's places uh, to go. It'll Sunday's going to be odd, just because figuring it's gonna out, be Sunday. Figuring out uh, who gets who for the holidays and stuff. So, are you going? What fireworks are you going to go go to? So Saturday, I plan on being at Foster Park because Three Dog Nights playing. I don't so. know who they are. Uh, it's an older band, but they... they were Are we going to get fireworks? Yeah. And then Sunday, probably Greentown or Burlington. I don't know. Greentown's supposedly the best. Actually, I heard Burlington that... Burlington uh, puts on a good show. I heard that... Uh, what's that fucking place out there at Galveston? What's the one past Galveston? Walton? That's See, supposedly that's, that's the that's best what, one. That's what happens, though. Like, every year, you get seven or eight you, you could go to... And one of them always outdoes the other, and it's just, was I at the good one this year? Yeah. You want me to be honest with you? Mm-hmm. Fucking fireworks show is a fireworks show. That's not true. Okay, fuck all. I, let's, 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 okay. That's not Falafel. True. There's been times when... <laughs> Uh-oh. I just saw a vagina. 
That's why I have been very That's respectful. That's why you're looking right at me the I've whole been, time. I've been respectful. Every time I do happen to gaze, I go like this. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to look at the ceiling yep, first. I, I, I cannot I'm going to look down from head down and I, stop at the bottom of your face. I'll <laughs> flip around real quick, make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you hadn't told me that at the beginning of the show. Well, you Can't know. see my our listeners. He's being fucking crazy. Better hope that camera doesn't have a wide angle. <laughs> Tell me why you think a fireworks show is not a fireworks show because they're all just fireworks. Some are better than others. Though. How? If you you're, stand there with your lover, if you're with sitting there, around you, it's a better fireworks show than if you don't. If you're sitting there and there's the right amount of fireworks where it's not your hair. I wish I ever brought my camera. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> it's a lot like going to a. So you're saying sometimes they're too long. A comedy show where sometimes you, know, you want the right short. amount of jokes per second or minute like or whatever. Like sex. Fireworks shows like sex. Not too long, not too short. And then there, right. are, there are times where they can be too much, though. We went to Foster Park. Just like sex. I don't remember. No, I don't. I, I, I get that. I, I'm not saying. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Just the right amount. And then the finale is, you know, obviously. Like you ever been to a laser light show? You ever been I to have a not. Did, Detroit used to do that. Laser. We used to have a laser light show, and they would sing, Proud to be an American. I'm really glad you had that in my ears. Where at least I know I'm free. So that's better. It's not that I loud. That first one was the loudest. No, 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 no. Loud as fuck. Laura can't handle it. Laura's out. Just keep the headphones off. What do you need them for, anyways? You're not doing anything but loving life. It's the crash down for her. I feel uh, like I, that's why I see. That's why I try to get her to drink water through it because she could just have a nice buzz instead of just like these. I taught you that trick. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you credit. You, you said I don't know any of those tricks. Either you were lying then or you're lying now. Either way, I like to make you feel good. Fucking liar. I like to make you feel good. You do. We'll reach around, you know. Don't forget to cup the balls. Don't forget to cup the balls. The ball? I'm I'm not trying to be the the sun is hitting that mirror directly and there's a fucking death star laser beam right in my eyeball. Really? Yeah, it's Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it's hold on. You gotta put your shades on? Yeah, it's not gonna help. It's still like just Quit rocking, dick. There we go, right here. I'm proud to be an American. I can't even bitch at you right now. <laughs> well, at least I know I'm free. Okay. Laura and I were driving in the Mercedes earlier, and she just drove around with her head on the sunroof like this. There you go. Is that racist? You gotta open your hand. That's racist. Opening hand is not racist? <laughs> I don't know. I'm being a smart ass. Oh, shit. Did anybody uh, come in, call in with dirty sex stories? Uh, wasn't that last week's, hey, don't pay attention yeah, and no, don't interact with us? The only person they called in was the, the, the story about you getting your belly button pierced, which we'll have on, <sighs> we'll have on next, next week. I did, but I, I think we'll have to talk about it after the voicemail. Yeah, next I week. I would uh, really like to see that. It's not pierced anymore. I got a picture of it, though. I lost a bet. And I don't welch. Here, you know what? It's a three-minute voicemail. I wonder if you can hear it through this. Let's see. I will look to see if the photographic evidence is still here. Or the corn ticket. Um, here. Hey, I am... Uh, can you hear it? I'm calling about those corn tickets or the corn ticket. Um, I recognize that voice. I the show. Catch it every Tuesday. Yay. Yay. She sounds hot. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Got a good story about the old teddy bear. Fuck. There uh-huh. on the air with you. Uh-huh. Um, teddy bear. Laura calls him a teddy bear. One of my favorites, as a matter of fact. He, uh, he lost a bet years, years ago. And uh, when he lost the bet, the deal was he had to get his belly button pierced. But at the time... I was uh, professionally piercing with a studio there in Kokomo, so I got to do it. And later <laughs> that evening, we he went to a uh, showed a picture to Laura. A friend's get together. I believe it was for a birthday. Oh, she's gonna go the whole way. Festival. No, it's a three-minute story. Um. Anyhow. Yes, yeah, about Volkswagens and. He brought with him a bottle of. I think and uh, I made Washington apples. There was a bunch of beer. The deal was <laughs> that who 
whoever ended up passing out, of course, this is, you know, the usual. Well, they're going to end up with something on their face. <laughs> Three highlighter dicks. She gets there. Anyway, Does she? She tells the whole thing? The day, he got trashed. And at one point, he disappeared somewhere in that evening. So, we found out he was up chucking his gun out to the yard, I believe. First time I, I ever peed. Really? And he might have accidentally yeah. dropped my ass. Um, drop my and at ass. that time, he was with uh, well, ex wife number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> and I left all these people to death. But, uh, shocked him real quick. And then he went in. And Did she punch you? Again. No, she I came out and was. I thought she shocked you. I thought that was no. Shocked me. He was the first one to uh, pass out that evening. The next and morning. He got all the glory. Oh, it was bad. I got pictures the next morning from uh, his then fiance of his face covered in uh, black Sharpie and yellow highlighter pieces. And I guess he didn't see the yellow highlighter because he got the black sharpie off for the most part. But boy, <laughs> those fucking yellow highlight penises. Went to a titty bar <laughs> with black lights the next night. And, yep, to this day, that story has never been forgotten by anyone. That was well, it. I didn't know she was going to throw me under the bus. Yes, I got trashed. That was the night all our buddies decided we were going to drink like back in high school. You remember drinking in high school versus drinking now? Yeah. Like for now sure. we just drink and have a good time. But in high school you it just was just drink to get drunk. Yeah, you like down a bottle so you could be it's badass. Kind of like how Laura still does. <laughs> kind of. But she, <laughs> she covers it over two bottles of wine. She does fine now. She's good. We got a little and I was talking a little bit of shit. And I said, "You fuckers, if you pass out, you're going to wake up with dicks on your da, da, da. And my stupid ass is the first one out. So of course. The, the next morning I had I had four or five dicks on my face. Nice. I did not know about the highlighters, though. Like I said, highlighter shows up really well under black light. We all went to the titty bar the next night. Oh, and no. And nobody fucking told me. I was walking around with dicks I, all over. two or three that were in highlighter. It, was, it wasn't that embarrassing because I don't That's really have shame. I don't really care. awesome. It sucked. But, yeah, I had to get my belly button pierced. You want to hear our first voicemail we ever got? Yes, I do. It's really bad, but. Here, remember this one, Laura? Laura? I'm waiting. I don't know. There were two fellas standing on a bridge going to the bathroom. Is that Sling Blade? That's yeah. awesome. One feller said the water's cold. The other feller said the water's deep. I reckon one of them fellers was from Arkansas. <laughs> Fuck. That's it. That's that's your first voicemail. That was the the first, it was, it was I reckon one of them fellas is from Arkansas. <laughs> Get it. That's March 11th, 4.05 a.m. That was voicemail came in. That's awesome. Yeah. So those are, we've had four voicemails? Yeah, we had another one. We have, here, here's a good one. This is from an old friend of Laura and I. Oh, you have more than four. Uh, pineapple Wiki. This is for Pineapple Wiki. Pineapple Wiki, we are Vicky Atul, and we got, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Cody, uh, Alan Williams, Boys, the yay. C-O-D-Y. Hello, everybody. I'm on the air to all my fans. How you doing? <laughs> Did you hear I call him? My lady keeps telling me all about this podcast and that I should call in and all this different stuff. And so, she sent me a phone number, and here I am, all right? So, my schedule is super busy. If you need to book me for a show, obviously, you need to get with my agent. Just to make sure I have some free time. Don't, you know, you're going to have to obviously get a good big enough area for all the uh, paparazzi and stuff like that. They're always helping me for stuff. i got to keep a fresh Sharpie on me all the time, no matter what. Sharpie. But anyway, <laughs> so just give me a call back whenever you get a chance or uh, just to check in and uh, see, make sure everybody up there is doing good and stuff, man. I uh, haven't talked to you in a while, so I'm just calling to check okay, in. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a uh, variety for the podcast. Things like it's doing well, it's badass. And yeah. Oh, uh, Hell you yeah. Get over there. So, anyways, this is Cody back from Lotus Five, Brandon Poe. 
Give me a call back. Brett and Paul Wicke. I can't remember. There was a joke with that. Like, some Asian guy would call me. Brett and Paul Wicke. See, that is what we should get from all of our thousands and thousands and thousands of fans. <laughs> we got we got uh, two more. Two more. Listen. Voicemails. Yay! Oh, yeah. This is the voicemail episode. Here we go. We got, we got one coming in from uh, this guy. Yeah, that bearded guy said that I could win a ticket. And he's going to take me on a date. <laughs> that's it? No. My name is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it. <laughs> Good timing there. No, uh, we get voicemails like that. Then we get voicemails like uh, Laura's number one fan. Laura's number one. Doesn't care about us whatsoever. This is Jeremy calling in for the corn ticket giveaway. Corn ticket. My buddy Adam was telling me about. Um, I've listening to you guys since, I believe, episode two. Just telling Adam, man, you guys are funny. Crank me up. Yeah, two, 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 two people. Love the Park. That's my favorite um, so far. Also Gladys. Speaking of Gladys, mm-hmm. got to give Laura a shout out. My favorite episode so far. Did Laura's we play this last time? I think we did play this one. Now that we now that I've seen it, I feel you playing. Anyway, voicemails, yay! How come you let every other one play as long as they could go, but mine? No, I didn't stop me. it. That was the whole way. That was it. Thirty-four seconds, baby. They said Laura was the favorite part. You got all excited. <laughs> Talk right through it. No, we already played that one on no. air. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Yeah, we did. <laughs> You got excited. You got super pumped about us playing on it. The only one that loves me. So if you guys want to call in, 765, if you want to be part of voicemails, yay! 765-416-3066. Is there a way to make that clearer? Like, if, yeah. Okay, so if you want your voicemail to be heard, <laughs> call more often. Yeah. Yeah, if I had more voicemails, I could make it a segment, but I don't have to get enough voicemails. You know what I mean? I That's yeah. all the voicemails. <laughs> I played them all. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I'm not going to know. What of it? Anyone, what of it? Anyone who listens to the show, yeah. I, I bet they can't do a better voicemail than the Brandon Powicki one. Brandon Powicki? Cody was funny. Yeah. I bet he could sell some shit. Everyone, he gave away a lot of free gift cards. He sold Coca-Cola. <laughs> and he gave away a lot. Oh, he was of, He gave <laughs> away a lot. Of, I'll give you a gift card. <laughs> he will be here after his fraud sentence is up. No, oh, no. No, he got out, man. He got it before us. Did he? he made it like he was so good because how that thing worked is like you got you built a team. You got there and you built a team. And this, if your team did certain production, you would get up to what they called the assistant manager of the office. You remember that, Laura? And then from assistant manager, you had to keep for like a year a certain production, and then you would get your own shop kind of thing. Uh-huh. So he was on assistant manager level. Like, he was right there. So it's a Ponzi scheme on top of it. Oh, for sure. It was fucking Ponzi pyramid, MLM. It was was scheme on scheme, baby. Shout out to Sidcore, you fucking crooks. (laughs) But anyways... He was uh he was assistant. You sound manager. like one of the Nazis at Nuremberg being like, it was them. You participated. Bro, I I, 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 a, a to dude's eat. gotta eat. You had to eat. I'm not a knocking it. I'm just saying, like, eat. let's let's <clears throat> let's be honest. But he was good, man. He was good. He probably did some he probably didn't do as much shady stuff as everybody else. He was on the up and up. He did some shady stuff, but Well, it sounds like that was the point he of He wasn't the job. shelling out ten thousand dollars to gift cards a week like I was. <laughs> What's your cancel bill? Eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah, we can get you a gift card in that. Really, Adam? You're judging me with those eyes. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm. I'm we used amazed. to go. We used to go up to AT and T if we saw the trucks. Be like, what's what's that bin number you got there for your install? Oh, what's the address? Oh my god! Because I'm gonna put it down like I sold this account, and then I'm gonna get paid for it. <laughs> so thank you. All on air. <clears throat> I don't work there anymore. You can't. I'm, I'm past the statute of limitations. That was nine years ago. It was 15 I years ago, people. I never did that. I worked my ass off. Can I get that bin number? Shout, shout out to Miranda and Shelby. They know all about that. Can I get that bin number? <laughs> Give me that bin number. <laughs> what was it? Account? It was, I think it was bin. Billing account, billing account number? Ban. Ban. Give me that ban number. It was ban. Billing Jesus. account number. Give me that ban, girl. That it was man. the worst. It was the. Anyways, that's an worst. open challenge to all the thousands of viewers. 
What, get you know charge people for free years? gift cards? Call in did to you our... know two years of door-to-door sales is equivalent to four years of communications college? Did you know that? I feel like that's some shit they fed you. I'm, I'm willing to bet, considering what... You, I, I bet that was just uh, fed bullshit. fraud that they get committed to you guys. He didn't... That, that business didn't last long after the fact. I bet not. No, he got fucked in trouble by the Chamber of Commerce. I can't imagine why. Pensacola, man, there's a lot of no soliciting neighborhoods you know a lot of a lot of retirement places the cops stopped me and a girl i was dating once and they were like are you guys cop. soliciting and i was like yeah. no not we're not prostitutes anything. i'm letting people know about the line work in the area was like, okay, yeah that was to supposed stop. to be our way out of it our boss was like no you're not soliciting you're just letting people know about the line work in the area you're giving them what the line option work? It's underground. You're you not selling it. anything. You're not there to sell anything. You're yeah, there exactly. to let them know and then give them the option to upgrade. Yeah, we're there to sell shit. That's the same type of people that call you about your extended warranty on your vehicle. Nah, no offense to that guy, but he was a fuck. He was a fuck boy, so. Oh, well. He was a had to boy. eat. Yeah, he had to eat too, man. He had kids. He had kids, kids. He had a kid. We were there. Nice. Yeah. What else? Uh, you know. Normal stuff, different day. That was a fun time, yeah. Good time. That was a good time. Laura's, Laura's petered the out. Fucking worst. Did you see the picture of the belly button? What's the worst? That time in our life, that was the worst. No, I didn't see the picture of the belly button, but I, I can I can imagine your hairy ass belly button with a fucking. I don't want to make up fresh meal. It's already so fucking late. We don't have a kid tonight. Can you we just have take a me to why dinner? you keep saying that? We have a kid tonight. Literally. They're heading back to their house when we leave. And oh. I'm not going to take you to dinner. Okay. But we can pick up dinner. That's fine. You like don't Chinese do anything food. like that. It's fine. It's good Chinese food. People want to hear this. Where's your favorite Chinese place? In- <gasps> oh, I, like I do want to end on this. Go ahead. I like that China King right there on Lincoln. I Laura? Think. You hate me. It reminded me of that. We'll talk. My off husband camera. just said he hated me. No, I said you can't buy more shoes. You can't go to Target. It's the same. <laughs> thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> that was a kid. A kid did that too. He was like, "My dad just said he hate me. I'm leaving. Like, where are you going? I'm moving. You said you hate me, and I can't live here anymore. I said you couldn't play your Xbox <laughs> until you cleaned up your room. It's the same thing. <laughs> the ones that are getting me right now are the what are what are common words that you're parents uh mispronounce all the time and some dumb fuck redneck saying good job and it, oh, his dad told him you fucking suck or whatever <laughs> <laughs> just different shit it was funnier we shit. saw a whole tiktok that's called at pissing my dad off <laughs> <laughs> that's good he, his dad's painting the wall and, the <laughs> and he goes up with a roller real quiet and just rolls his fucking arm with white paint and he goes why the fuck would you do that and it starts coming at him and that's the end of the tiktok <laughs> Have you, uh, I, Scott, I gotta shout this place out in Kokomo, guys. It's, it's late in the episode, so I hope Pizza you hear Pizza Co! Pizza Co. on Home. Pizza Co. on Home. It's a new place. It came out last year. The best. It was fucking it's phenomenal. Cheap. Cheap. It's cheap. We got two pies and a cheese cheap, bread cheap. for 30 bucks. Yeah. Two large pies. Yeah. It was good, man. It was delicious. It's It's on Home. We only, I, you only needed daddies. one piece, and you were like, wow, I'm full. Neapolitan style pizza. Nice. It's really good. Behind the uh, the oasis or the island or something right, like that. It used that. to be uh, used to be a lot of things over there in that little building. Well, that was uh, was that Jim's Pizza over there? Could have been some. This is is that the one is... that sells the fucking pizzas that are that big? No, this is a whole new place, man. This is. Well, I know, but same building though. I I never went to it before. Yeah, that's... we just happened to be going by, and the sign looked cool. It said Neapolitan Pizza. It's like, well, why don't we? You know, we try everywhere. Like, why don't we try that place? Laura's real picky at the pizza, and I was worried, but bro. Chicken it. barbecue pizza. They they they. Uh, I I know. I knew you were gonna. I knew. I, I debated talking about it because I knew you were gonna give me shit about my I didn't chicken say a word. barbecue pizza. They uh, they put banana peppers on it, and I like banana peppers, but I don't like an overly amount of banana peppers. Like banana and they peppers. did it tastefully. It was just like ten banana peppers on the whole pizza, and to me that's perfect. <laughs> I only need like one a slice. There you go. You know what I mean? It was good. So shout out to you guys, Pizza Co. Pizza Co. On home in Kokomo, Indiana. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. We'll take a free pie for that. <sighs> and that's our show. That's it. That's it. Thank you guys for joining us. It's uh, been great. It's all daddy.
I think this is definitely going to be Laura's episode, too. But she did crash there at the end. Yeah, but, you I was know, say. The wine, you know, it does that. I got my life in, the and wine, she crashed. you know. The, the wine. wine. I tried to give her. I tried to split her up on the drinks, give her some water. She only took one from me. She drank the rest. I don't know why you're making it about me drinking. It has nothing to do with you drinking. It's you talking. It's your episode. Yeah, you're starting to get a headache, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's experiencing It's ha- the wine. It's the ha- Laura's hangover episode. Oh. Uh, no, se- it, it started so good, and then it, she just, like, as Gladys came back. Well, and you did like, yell at her. I don't want to start shit, but you remember that yell time? at her. She <laughs> pushed the microphone down like a fucking, I don't, like she was in a UFC fight with the I, microphone. I don't like to like cause Ronda problems. Rousey just came into the fucking <laughs> ring, and the microphone was Holly Holm or some shit. Or fucking Misha Tate. Or, you know, she just remember knocked that, that time shit Laura out. when he yelled at you on air? Remember that? I don't, you know, it's fine. Remember that time I kicked you in the nuts and then ran real fast because you could beat me up? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to run very fast, I promise. <laughs> A good three steps ahead of me and I'll never catch you. I don't know. I could probably break my ankle and then it's a game over, you know. <laughs> See, uh, Cody and I, uh, speaking of that last story, we were, we were, we had a road, we had, we, we were going, we were teaming up, you know, walking in the neighborhood and one time we're like, let's race each other. Fuck it, eh? I was 28. And uh, I fell. fell? <laughs> I fucking Do ate Do you laugh it. when people fall? I did I... not laugh, but he did. <laughs> I ate it, bro. I was like running full speed and I did fucking not laugh. ate it. I don't care who you are. If you fall it's in so front funny. of me, it's funny. Like, I try to make sure people are okay, but I'm going to laugh. My grandma tumbled. <laughs> My grandma, who is a saint, I will flat yeah. fuck anybody up that talks shit about my grandma. She was standing on a rocking chair like you're on, hanging uh-huh. Christmas lights. My favorite. You... My favorite person on the planet. And she fell. And she not just fell, I mean, flipped up, feet straight up, and <laughs> fell down in like the chair was in a corner. Yeah. And you could just see her feet <laughs> dangling. And I mean, that's a pretty decent fall yeah. for an older lady. You know, this yeah. is a few years ago. Well, it's been quite a few years ago. I was still it's living there. Big fall. I yelled, Grandma, are you okay? And she starts laughing and says, Yeah, I'm fine. I couldn't get over to help yeah. her. I had to crawl. I was laughing so goddamn hard. <laughs> she's just sitting there with her. I mean, she, feet, she, like the yeah. Wicked Witch of the West, just yeah. like the feet out it of the was, thing. Like it was eh. horrible. I, I, I still feel like a dick. But that's what you should. If I laugh at my grandma for that, imagine what I'm going to do if one of you punk asses falling. Fall. I love people falling. I love watching shit like that. As long as it's not like that weird scorpion at the end, like when their body like tweaks weird. I can't. I can't watch that. But like. When people just fall and are okay, it's fucking hilarious. I can say, are you okay? As long as they're okay or it's uh, the typical guy laugh. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just watched yeah. a, a whole compilation about door the door ring bell videos of people falling. That I, I can't do those because that's the rest of my night. Yeah, you go down in an abyss. Speaking of that, we're doing that right now. So thanks, guys, for joining us again. Like, share, subscribe. Call the voicemail. Laura's got a headache, so send her some Advil. 765-416-3066. Check me out on Instagram, at Uniballer. Adam made it the entire time with drinks. I didn't even break into my second drink, and Laura didn't even crack in her Gatorade, guys. We did good she today. She should have cracked into her Gatorade. Yeah, she should have been drinking that Gatorade the whole time, but she chose not to. So. Find me at Uniballer Wife. At Uniballer Wife, at Uniballer. Check us out. Until next time, guys. See you later.